You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Now the word diligence means careful. Be careful to make your calling what? And unless you're sure. Make it sure. Uh -huh. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. We've had church tonight. Hallelujah. God met us here for a reason. Don't you dare doubt God. Don't you dare give up on the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He said he'll be with you. Hallelujah. Forever and ever. A comforting spirit. A way maker. A present help. Hallelujah. Friends may fail you. Yes. Loved ones may fail you. Yes. God said, I'll never fail you. Yes. I'll never leave you. Yes. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I'm closer than a brother. Yes. I used to sing a song a long time ago, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Yes. Let me get to my text here, church. Uh, in uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, uh, if you take note in verse 10, and a brief thought I want to share again with you. Let the devil know you saved Amen. by your praise and worship and by your quality of character when you're not in the sanctuary proper, Good. when you're on the job place when you're in the home, Amen. when you're in the supermarket. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let the devil know you're saved and set apart. Right. Hallelujah. That you're not going nowhere. Uh, verse 10. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For now the word diligence means careful. Yeah. Be careful to make your calling what? And election sure. Make it sure. Uh -huh. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Back up to uh, uh, Philippians uh, chapter 3. And let's pick right up in verse 10. I want to see how you can connect this together and understand. When you've made up your mind that you're going to serve God and his kingdom, you will never get depressed because someone is trying to upset you. Amen. Whether it be on the job or whether it be in your home, you've got to learn how to stand yourself apart because you are, praise God, you're a holy vessel unto the Lord. Call you for the master's use. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm in Philippians chapter 3. Jump right into verse, uh, read verse 10 and 11. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings be made conformable unto his death. Yes. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Paul said that I may know him the power of his resurrection. In other words, I've got to get close to God, close enough that when the trump of God sounds in, I'm going to be resurrected. Yeah. I've got to understand this spiritual power. We're wrestling against Praise God. Principalities in high places. We are wrestling against a demon spirit. Amen. You don't know what he look like. But one thing for certain, he ain't got no horns. Right. Praise God. And we've got to be able to identify a wrong spirit by their quality of character and how they have made their calling and election sure. You cannot make your calling and election sure and constantly walk in the atmosphere of a black certain condition. You cannot make your calling and election sure and go back on the holy word of God. You cannot make your calling and election sure and have a coward spirit. You got to stand up and be counted, praise the Lord. When all things have failed, God still will stand up for you. Hallelujah. Verse 12. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, 
perfect, but I follow after that. that now, I'm Paul perfect. said, I haven't reached that holy place yet That's right. in Christ Jesus. Why? Because I'm in the natural body. That's right. But as long as I'm spirit led, I will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Right. Watch close now, read. But if I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also. I follow after that I might apprehend or that, that I might overtake. In other words, I keep following after God because I'm trying to catch up with something. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm trying to overtake. What is that? That's the crown of eternal life. So I've got to keep following after God because my calling and election, I've made sure and heaven is going to be my home, not down here. I'm not worried about down here. I'm worried about trying to reach that heavenly kingdom. So I put aside everything in the natural, and I'm trying to get caught up in the spirit that can follow after God. I can't follow God if I can't follow his word. Read. 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 That, I, with that for which I also am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. I'm not in heaven yet. But this one thing. I'm still been. struggling through this earthly vessel. Amen. Hallelujah. But because I'm struggling, that don't mean that I'm a hypocrite. That's right, Father. Because I'm struggling, that don't mean I keep backing up. Uh -huh. I may not be going fast, but I'm not going back. Uh -huh. Why? I've made my calling, my election short. Watch those now read. Brethren, I count on myself to have apprehended, but there's one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. One thing I do, forgetting those things which what? Are behind. Look. I can't look back at the Priest past. Priest yeah. yeah. The past is gone. Yeah. I will not dwell on what I used to be. Right. I will not think about places I used to go. I've left away from all that. I will not dwell on friends that used to be my friends, but now that I'm in holiness, they don't want nothing to do with me. That's not a friend. That's an enemy of the cross of Christ. And you've got to make your calling election sure and know them that labor among you. Amen. Read. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling. I press the toward the mark of the prize. What's the prize? Eternal life in heavenly places. Uh -huh. Of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore as many as be perfect be thus minded. Let us therefore as many as be perfect. Now again that word perfect means complete. Amen. In the scripture. Uh -huh. Be thus minded, and if anything... Be thus minded. In other words, we've got to always think the same way. We've got to think about the same thing. We cannot allow ourselves to be entwined with wrong spirits that will call you or try to uh, uh, preach you on the job, try to witness to you. Amen. I got a letter uh, last night, and I'm not going to call no name, not going into detail. But oh, they're crying now a river of tears because they left away from holiness. And then dare to raise their hand against the prophet in the Lord's house. Amen. Now they're begging to get back. But did not Jesus say the day you hear my voice? Hard not your heart. How can you sit up under a leader for a whole year, clap your hands and to sing the song of Zion and don't believe nothing what you are doing? That's an imitation spirit. God is not an imitation spirit. God is a real thing. Amen. Holy Ghost is real. When Jesus left, he said, I'm going to send you another comforter because you can't make it without that comforter. And the comforter is the spirit of Christ that come to dwell with you. If you got the spirit of Christ, praise God, you can overcome any obstacle that the devil bring against you. He'll open up your understanding to the mysteries of God. Amen. And the mysteries of God have to be rightly interpreted by a prophet God has sent to teach you the right. truth. Amen. Everybody can't teach the truth because everybody don't have the spirit of Christ. Right. If you got the same spirit, and I say to these preachers over YouTube, if you got the same spirit that I got, how come we're not speaking the same thing? Right. And why are you not following me? Because your pride has jumped in. You want me to follow you, but you have to follow me because I'm the prophet God has chosen in this evil and wicked time. And I bear record of it. I can put my testimony against any preacher. I'm 82 years old and don't take no medication. Had five heart attacks and God healed me. Prostate condition, God healed me. Stomach condition, God healed me. High blood pressure, God healed me. Diabetes, God healed me. 
That's my testimony. Then tell me who God called. Hallelujah. Ahab went to Jehoshaphat and said, I've got 450 prophets who told us we can go into battle. But Jehoshaphat corrected him. He said, what about a prophet in the Lord's house? Ahab said, yet there's one man, not no 450, one man. But I don't like him because he never told me what thus saith the Lord. I tell you, church, with us saith the Lord, Amen. and it's not always popular, but one thing is for certain, it's the truth. Amen. And it's the truth that sets the captive free. Not compromise, not twisting and turning, not a, a, a bountiful blessings and God want everybody to be rich. If God, God want everybody rich, how come I ain't got no money? Amen. And I got more faith in crap no dollar ever thought of him. Hallelujah. Set your affection on things above yeah. and not on this earth. God ain't interested in materialistic things. Yeah. Hallelujah. We have to make up our mind, church, that we determine to pick up our cross and follow the holiness standards set forth in this Bible. The Bible's for a reason. God wrote the Bible. The apostles didn't write it. They transcribed it and put it into a book form. Maybe you better get me... Uh, Isaiah, yes. is that chapter 30, verse 8? Yes. Hallelujah. Now go write it before them in a tablet. Write it in a tablet. And note Wait it in a, a book. Amen. Tablet means verses. And note it where? In a book. Take the verses and put them in a book. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. How long? Ever, forever. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible is forever and ever. Yeah. It's not going nowhere. I don't care how they keep trying to revise it right. and revise it and revise it and revise it until pretty soon they can revise all the truth out. We still got this Bible and it's a King James Bible and King James had nothing to do with it. Right. God anointed the prophets and apostles and told them to speak it and write it and then put it in a book for them and close the book and can't nobody open the book but a prophet God has said. The king what did he, went to the priest and said, Japhan had found a book. Yep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And nobody has told me about the book, and I'm the king. Amen. And when he found out what was recording the book, he started, praise God, he wanted to put on sackcloth and ashes. Hallelujah. And got angry. Yep. The Bible has to be revealed to someone who's seeking after righteousness any time you seek after God and his righteousness, he'll send you to a church where the truth can be exposed. But when God sends you to that church, there's something you've got to do. You've got to make a choice for yourself. Yes. Nobody can make a decision to, for you to stay in holiness or to leave. Nobody can make that choice Amen. but you yourself. Amen. I thank God, praise God, I heard the truth one day and I came a-running in the holy. I left away from the church of God in Christ and running. And they wanted to go back. One time he invited me back to preach. But they must not have liked what I had to say because they never invited me back. Hallelujah. 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 But I preached it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The people liked it, but the preacher didn't. Right. <laughs> so he wouldn't invite me back. No, the people wanted me back. Amen. If we make our calling an election show, it makes no difference who is against you as long as you are following God Almighty, He's the one. He's the author and finisher of your faith. He's the one that blesses. He's the one that can open a door. And the Bible says no man can close. If God opened up a door, who can close it? If God before you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. I've seen him tear down. Praise God. Big places. I shared with you about the time that sister worked on that job at the University of Michigan for years. Amen. And she would train some, and they would be moved up, and they would become her supervisor until she got discouraged and came to the pastor, said, I'm quitting the job, and I'm quitting the church. She didn't pray to him. She thought God didn't hear her prayer. 
Pastor said, you're not quitting the job and you're not quitting the church. And you come back here for tonight's service and I want you to be the first one to testify. I told you, she came back and sung Amazing Grace and couldn't carry a tune. But I looked around and half the church was shouting because she sung it from her heart. Few months later, they closed down that hospital section and brought it together the various divisions under one unit and she became the director over the whole unit and the ones passed the board up, she passed them when they was coming down. I'm telling you what God will do. But you got to obey instructions. The pastor said, you're not quitting the church. You don't get discouraged because you pray and look like things ain't going your way. What makes you think you're supposed to pray today and you're supposed to get your blessing tomorrow? This is not McDonald's. Hallelujah. This ain't no fast food restaurant. You pray. And then the Bible says, sometimes you got to plant your feet and wait on the Lord. And be a what? Good church. Hallelujah. Oh, church. Once we make up our mind that the devil's a liar yeah. and God is right, we will follow God no matter what the cost. Yes, sometimes when friends and relatives turn their back on you, sometimes you want to lay down and cry yourself to sleep. But I'd rather cry myself to sleep and have Jesus than have all the friendships of this world. Because it don't mean nothing when you stand before the judgment throne of God. I want to hear him say, well done. Yes. Yes. Thy good and what? Faithful servant. Yes. Hallelujah. All right, I'm in Philippians. I'm going to close now. I want you to take note. Verse 16. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind You two thing. listeners, let us walk by the same rule. Yes. Amen. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which Be walk. followers of me. Now here he don't say be followers of Christ. Right. He say be followers of me. Amen. Uh-huh. And mark them which walk. Take note of them. Which walk so as ye have us for an example. Take so, note of them that live. So you have the apostles as an example. Yes. Brothers and sisters, you've got to know who's leading you. You can't just go to any church and fellowship with anybody. Amen. You've got to make your calling and your election sure. And when you know you found a hole in this church, ain't nothing you do but get yourself rooted and grounded and start getting happy. Amen. Yes. Things ain't always going to go your way. Maybe somebody won't hold the door for you. Maybe they won't smile. Maybe they don't embrace you. But that's, that, that ain't got nothing to do with your relationship right. with God. Yeah. What do you do? You smile and pray for them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. But you've got to keep pressing toward the mark of the high calling. Read. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping. Many walk or live of whom I have told you often. Uh -huh. And now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Everybody you see with a Bible is not saved. Amen. Leave them TV preachers alone. Yes. Leave them TV, or rather them YouTube ministries alone. Yes. If it don't say see the Abraham and Prophet I Walker, right. move on. Right. Find you a Mickey Mouse cartoon if you just got to watch something. But do not watch them hypocrite preachers because they'll dissuade you from following after God. Amen. Give me your 11th chapter, 1 Kings. Great man of God would not listen to instruction. Jump right into verse 4. For it came to pass when Solomon was old. It came to pass when Solomon was old. That his wives turned away his heart after other gods. His wives turned his heart away from God. And his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God as was the heart of David his father. Uh-huh. For Solomon went after Asheroth, the goddess Solomon of Solomon went daughters. after Asheroth and started practicing Easter. Amen. Got him some Easter eggs. <laughs> and an Easter bunny. And a Christmas tree. And some Christmas cookies. <laughs> Glory. After God had warned him, I believe the Bible said twice. And the late Bishop Paddock taught, there's no place in the Bible where you can find Solomon ever repented. And without repentance, 
there's no remission. Amen. Let that be a warning. Because the Bible says he was a wise man. But when he got old, he became a fool. That's right. And went after a false god. A false goddess. If you make your calling and election sure, it makes no difference who or what comes against you. Yeah. You will always be able to overcome. That's right. How many happy in holiness today? How many made your calling and election sure? Are you determined in your heart? Have you sold out? The rich man came to God and said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? God said, go home and sell everything that you have. Everything that you have. And then come back and follow me. And the Bible said he went away sorrowful because he had too much riches. Sometimes it's good not to have a whole lot, but have a whole lot of Jesus. I thank God for, again, it keeps coming in. Brother Kenya, kind of heavy there, hundred dollars. Daughter Samke Shaw, amen, $25. Elder Willis, another envelope, seventy dollars. Yeah. Elder Lance, another envelope, hundred dollars. Yeah. Elder Marshall, this gave uh, the family just gave a thousand dollars. They gave him sixty dollars again today. Yeah. Minister Thomas, another envelope, hundred dollars. Yeah. Daughter Quinera. Leticia. Raise your hand. Another envelope. Amen. $26. Some heavy envelopes here. Elder Ricky. Another envelope. $300. Elder Brooks. Pretty heavy envelope here. $400. They've made their calling and election show. Again, let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak. And one day, the weak will be strong like their predecessors. So we don't look necessarily at the amount. We look at the intent of the heart. <clears throat> but sometimes, as God gave me that, uh, way to go. Yes. Sometimes people, you, they won't give big if they feel ain't nobody else giving big. Yeah. You'd be surprised. It's like psychological profile of yeah. humanity, yeah. even them that claim to be saved. Right. So I know what I'm doing. Right, oh, but the Bible says don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing. Yeah. Listen, let me teach the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you just pay attention. <laughs> Church, say amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Right. amen. Everybody can't teach. That's right, Prof. That's what's wrong with the classrooms today. Right. Students claim they know more than the teacher. Hi, Prof. Yeah, but what do you know? Well, we're on the internet way more than teachers. Yeah, but who you watching? Right. You watching Snoop D. Dog and uh, 15 Cents and the rest of them clowns. I yeah. When you should try to learn about George Washington crossing the what the, the Delaware. Oh. Amen. We today have got caught up and mesmerized by the devil. Let's leave the devil alone. He won't leave us now, but if we leave him alone, at least we will have the advantage over him because God gave us power over unclean things. Right. Come on.
Blog Talk Radio.